What's up everyone, in this video we are answering the question, how long will it take you to make full-time rates with freelance copywriting? If that's something you're interested in knowing, stick around. For those who don't know me, I'm Lex DeVille and on this channel we help people escape corporate prison and build a freelance empire. We share lots of freelance writing tips and tutorials, so if you're new, consider subscribing. In this video we are answering the question, how long is it going to take you to get up and earning full-time rates with freelance copywriting if you've never done it before and you're doing this from scratch and you're doing it without experience. If you are someone who is already freelancing, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Are you a freelance copywriter or are you a freelancer of any kind? And if so, how long did it take you to get up to full-time rates? Are you at full-time rates? And how long did it take you to get your first clients and to grow this into something that's pretty steady for you that can fuel other business pursuits or just you know, fuel your life. Drop that in a comment down below. I'd love to hear that from you. And I will, of course, respond like I usually do. Now, my thoughts on this. So you're coming into this as a freelance copywriter. You have no experience, no degree, no portfolio, no writing background, no sales background. I'm assuming that you don't have any of these things because most people most people actually do have one or more of these, but uh, most people don't think they do. So if you're coming into this brand new from scratch and you don't think that you have any experience or you actually don't have any experience, then it's going to take you some time. You are going to have to learn certain things to be able to attract clients. You're not just going to go out there and say, oh, I'm a copywriter and then clients are going to give you money. It doesn't work that way. You don't just set your skill to copywriting and then clients hand you cash. That's not how it works. Um, you have to know certain things. So to start with, you're going to have to know a little bit about how to write. If you have poor spelling and grammar, that's going to be a problem for you, especially as a copywriter. Now, copywriters can get by with using weird jacked up grammar sometimes because it's copywriting. It's just the nature of the beast. We have weird grammar sometimes to get a point across. But you need to know the fundamentals. You need to know which words should be capitalized and which words shouldn't. You need to know how to spell words like you and me and our and your versus you, your, the different versions of that. You should know those things. And if you don't know them, then your copy is going to look really bad. You're going to make mistakes in your profile. You're going to make mistakes in your bio and your proposals. That's going to turn clients off and they're going to ignore you before you even get the interview. And you're going to wonder why that's happening. So spelling and grammar are really important. Knowing a little bit about influence and persuasion is important as well. But I don't really recommend that you go out there and look at all the stupid copywriting books, all the, all the boron letters and handwriting sales letters and all that stuff. What I would recommend is just pick up a copy of How to Win Friends and Influence People and also a copy of uh, Psychology Im Influence the Psychology of Persuasion. Pick up those two books, read through them, study them, apply them, and apply them in real life, not on the internet. You need to apply these things in real life with real people so you get real results that you can see, you can experience, and you can form a concept in your mind that you can draw from whenever you go to write copy. So you need those things. You need to know how to influence people, at least a basic understanding, and you need to know spelling and grammar. You need to know a little bit about copywriting, but it's really not that important to know that much about copywriting itself. You know, line breaks and centering the text and how to capitalize a headline, that stuff's not all that important. You can usually get around that. You want to turn this into a full-time income. How long is it going to take? For me, it took one month. And that is both times I deleted my Upwork account, one month. And is it going to be that way for you? The answer is probably not. Probably not. I brought a bunch of experience with psychology and influence and persuasion and sales and uh, even ebook writing for several years into my copywriting. So even though I didn't have any copywriting experience, I did bring some other outside experiences that really helped grow that. Plus, I was willing to take big risks. I was willing to get uncomfortable. I was willing to get on phone calls to sell myself to these people because I understood that that's how you make money. Like you have to get on a phone call because that's what makes you look really professional. It takes your your professional you focused proposal and it steps it up to that next level and says this guy is for real and he's willing to get on a call and chat about this. So 
if you aren't willing to do those things and if you don't have the experience and if you haven't if you're not bringing any useful skills then i think at a minimum a bare minimum it's probably going to take you about six months maybe even a year to become a full-time earning copywriter who can go out there month over month uh, put out proposals and draw in clients that are worth one thousand to three thousand dollars or more or to be able to pitch clients on a retainer model of some sort where you're getting full-time rates month over month you can do it faster people can do it faster it happens all the time people like me go out there and we say i'm gonna bill this to start and then i get some clients and then i raise my rates and then i you know i went from five dollars an hour to fifty dollars an hour in like two weeks and then to a hundred dollars an hour by the end of four weeks and was willing to get on a call and talk to clients and then secure a hundred dollar an hour gigs and that adds up pretty quickly but are you willing to do that i don't know are you willing to get over your fears are you willing to say i feel fear and yet i'm still going to do this thing the more you do that the more you'll build a habit of it so probably you'll make money as a freelance copywriter if you just get started if you go out there even if you don't know that much about it you can just write in your own voice a lot of the time you'll at least attract the clients who want that style your personal voice um, if you do that you will probably make money it's just not going to be that much and it's definitely not going to be full-time rates and it's definitely not going to be full-time rates month over month so even if you manage somehow to pull enough clients to make full-time rates in a single month you'll probably end up with the next month following being like, oh shit, you know, what do I do? I don't have enough clients coming in for the next month. I worked so hard for these clients for this month, but now those gigs are closed out and I don't have the next month's clients lined up. It's going to take time. So I don't usually recommend people look at freelance copywriting and say, oh, this is how I'm going to make money for my next business idea, or this is how I'm going to earn a living I'm going to quit my job and become a freelance copywriter. Well, it's going to take time. This is a skill. It's a craft. You would actually probably be better off going and learning web design, which you can learn WordPress in a, you know, just through a short Udemy course or something, and then start selling web design services. You could actually make more money doing that more quickly than you can with copywriting. Now, copywriting, in my opinion, can actually build up to a better long-term income since clients need copywriting ongoing all the time. Whereas web design can be kind of a, you sell them a website and then they may not come back to you after that because they may feel like they've got their package delivered and we're done. That would be much faster than going the copywriting route because copywriting takes time to learn just like writing takes time to learn. I mean, do you think JK Rowling just wrote Harry Potter? She just woke up one day and she's like, I'm going to write the biggest selling book ever. No, she spent a lot of time studying the craft and learning the craft and getting better and improving it over time until she finally started to hit it big and started doing things differently and things that influenced her writing and brought her to that next level. This is what you have to do as a copywriter. So you don't have to be the best copywriter on the planet. And I'm not at all suggesting that. It just takes time. It's going to take you six months to one year if you really go at it. And uh, you might do it faster. If you bring some of these extra skills, if you are someone with a creative mind, an adaptive mind, someone who is willing to think outside of the box, someone who asks questions about how to find solutions like how can i do this what is the first thing i need to know what when would i know enough like how much is enough knowing before i can get started and what do i need to know to write good proposals and what do i need to know to sell myself on interview calls and once i have those things how long am i going to wait before i actually go out there and, and start making this happen there's a lot of fear involved that's one thing I've noticed is that the main reason most people don't make it that far, they don't get to full-time rates with freelance copywriting in under six months is mostly due to fear. A lot of people will actually get good enough at writing just through practice to earn full-time rates as a copywriter, to be good enough to earn full-time rates as a copywriter within probably three months, maybe three to within that three to six month time range three to four months, three to six months, anywhere within there, you can probably be good enough if you're studying it regularly, if you're practicing writing copy, if you're building portfolio pieces, trying out different styles, improving, learning spelling and grammar, all that stuff every single day. If you're doing that, three to six months 
would be a good range for you to earn full-time rates. But fear is what's really holding you back. You might be ready at three months, but you, you look at these copywriting gigs on Upwork and you say, I don't know if I can do that. You know, I don't know if I can do this thing or that thing or that thing, or what if I can't? These are questions you have in your mind. What if I can't? What if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not ready? What if the client doesn't like me? Or what if the client doesn't like my style? Or what if my style doesn't get results? Or, or just all these what ifs. And that's what usually holds people back in my experience. They think the writing isn't good enough when it is. They think that they aren't good enough when they probably are. And for those reasons, they just don't take the risks. They don't apply to the gigs or they ditch interviews. They ditch clients. They don't show up for calls. They don't show up and do the work. And if you're not doing those things, you're not going to get those results. How long does it take to become a freelance copywriter earning full-time rates? Minimum six months if you're starting from scratch. That's, that would be my answer. Unless you are someone who is really adaptive and is really willing to push the boundary, you know, push the envelope and put yourself out there. I think it would be much faster if you would just take the gigs that you feel you probably could do and you just start getting experience and building up because that's a different kind of experience than studying and, and taking courses and stuff. Uh, getting field experience, getting battlefield experience out there fighting the battles day after day with your words is going to teach you what clients want and what they're interested in and what how they think and their processes and what they expect from you. And that's going to give you useful knowledge that you can use to apply to other clients later on that is going to carry you forward and teach you how to be a good freelance copywriter and it's going to give you more confidence in yourself and in your skills so that when you get on calls you have stuff to talk about from experience and it's always best because when clients start asking you questions about copywriting and you can back that up with experience because you've been doing it even if you haven't been doing big copywriting jobs it's still helpful to be able to tell those stories because someone who is has been doing copy, real copy, paid work, is going to get hired over someone who has not been doing paid work when it comes down to that interview time. It's just that simple. Like this guy's actually been doing it and people have been paying for it and his clients like his results and this person has not been doing it, has no proof that he can do any of this and so not going to get hired. Three to six months, that's my answer. So let me know your thoughts on that in a comment down below. I'm a little bit slow this morning. I feel a little bit groggy. Kind of stayed up late last night watching Game of Thrones, and now I'm sleepy. Hopefully today will improve, and I'll write some copy and get that done, and hopefully you will too. But if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Lex DeVille. Subscribe down below if you want to see more, and I will see you next time.